Welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. Since last time we did quite a few side quests that were... Well, you can decide whether you want to do those side quests now or later, but... There's still a few things I want to do before we even start the next area. So, remember uh, where the Linaru Spirit is? Yeah, we want to go exactly where the Spirit is. And, well, last time we couldn't really get so far in this area. So now that we actually got the claw shot, use the claw shot to hook onto the ivory, or vines, whatever the heck you want to call it. And now we can actually make our way to the back. And you can actually enter through the other side as well, so it doesn't really matter what side you decide to pick. But now you want to get your lantern out, because this is how we get the next item that we really want. So, light one torch, light the... Uh, attempt to light the other... No, light the other torch, and it reveals a treasure chest! But what could possibly be inside this treasure chest that I find worth getting? Well, inside a small chest, we get five bombs! I wonder what bomb bag that goes to. The other one. Of course it goes to the other one. Well, at least I had a different amount of bombs, so I decided which bomb bag I want to use for the bugs. And five rupees. That's always nice. But I don't need money. And now, we get heart piece number 18! Gotta love the heart pieces. I just thought I'd show you guys exactly uh, what to do there. Um, I'm gonna meet... Ah, screw it. I'm just gonna do it on screen. I don't feel like doing any editing right now. I do a lot of, I'll meet you at this place and that place, and... Huh. I thought there was a treasure chest up there, but it seems to stress a target wall, or however you want to call it, so... Doesn't really matter. I wish... Uh, yeah, I wish the Lincoln Scoured Sword, when he hit the A button, he'd do something like that, but... Now, he sucks at swimming until you get the dragon scale, so hey, well, beggars can't be choosers. Has anyone seen the recent Sherlock Holmes movie? You know, A Game of Shadows, where Sherlock Holmes is chasing after Professor Moriarty, and then at the end, they have, like, an intelligent showdown? I'm not gonna spoil it, I'm just saying they have an intellectual showdown. Now that we have the Master Sword, we can warp wherever we've been to already. So what I want to do is, well, warp to the Castle Town. And before we go, uh, go on with the main quest, there is another hidden skill we can learn. And actually, we can also get a couple more heart pieces if you uh, want to go do the Lantern Caverns. The one at Lake Kilia and the one near uh, the, uh, the Elden Valley. But you know what, viewers? I'm actually going to just wait until after the next dungeon to get those ones. Just so I can span out the side quest just a little bit. Really? Come on, mailman! Do you have to interrupt me? Man, it's like watching the movie May. That was horrible! No, the one of 2003 viewers. There's probably a better movie called May, but the May I watched was horrible. What? What do you mean you want to hear about it? Okay, well, it's pretty gruesome, so you might want to cover your ears for the young viewers. So there's this girl who has dolls for her best friends. She ends up making some friends that are actually human. And throughout the course of the movie, she finds reasons to hate all of them, and then she wants to make a human doll. And then, I don't care if I spoil this, because this movie is just incredibly horrible. And yeah, let's actually donate some money to this guy. I mean, why not? Why, thank you. And throughout the course of the movie, she gets human body parts. That's pretty cool, right? No, no. She makes a human doll. She sews it together because she's an animal doctor and she's good at sewing stuff together. And how she got a job, I don't know. And throughout the course of the movie, you figure, you go through character development, uh, her relationships, and how she tries to actually get with this guy she likes because... Well, she doesn't really get with this guy because she keeps screwing up. Like, she bites him on the lip and makes him bleed because she saw one of his fan-made movies, and all that stuff. And do I really need my money? No, not really. Here, take it all! I don't need it! <laughs> Actually, you can also donate your money to Kakeriko Village, which we'll do later, but yeah. And now for the ending of the movie, yeah, get this. Her doll, which is her best friend, the main doll, like, yeah, the doll's a girl, and... Oh god, I can't believe I'm talking about this movie. Yeah, it ends up moving. The human doll, after the real doll, her best friend breaks, ends up moving. Then it's the credits. And I just sat there, realized I wasted two hours of my life watching the worst movie I've ever seen. Yeah, could it get any worse? Uh, no, no, of course the Goron's not there yet. Yeah, you have to wait till after you donate like a thousand rupees and do a certain side quest before you can get that one. But yeah, uh, you know, we're a little short on money, but if you've been collecting those golden bugs, well, 
You should be just fine. Now let's see, where is he? Oh wait, no, I remember where the golden wolf is. Never mind. Yeah, I know where he's at. But yeah, I, I didn't think I'd ever see a movie worse than Twilight until I saw May. Oh my goodness, my eyes are scarred. They still are scarred. It should be on the left side. Unless I'm thinking of the Wii version. Which I hope I'm not. Okay, good. good. Sometimes I get myself mixed up with the Wii version. Which is dreadfully annoying. Hey Ancestor, how's it going? Alright, you ready? Alright, show me what you're made of. Now this link could also be the link in, well, Skyward Sword. I mean, it could be a guess, but my guess is that, well, since he's left-handed, he is the one from Ocarina of Time. It only makes sense. Now we must test the endurance of the skill we last learned. Yeah, that was a horrible line, I know. So. Let's show him what the backslash is all about. So, jump behind him, attack him. Pretty simple. Man, Link looks really good with the Master Sword. Like, it's more epic than he was already. The fourth hit skill, the Helm Splitter! Now he can slice enemies' helmets in half. Well, yeah, for the most part. Or they don't have a helmet, slice their head in two. I love this hidden skill. This hidden skill is my favorite. So the first thing you have to do is do the shield attack, and then afterwards, you'll front flip over your enemy, hit him in the head, and then you're behind him. That is the Helm Splitter. How could you not love this one? Yeah, you hit him, then you jump over him. Then you hit him in the back. Yeah, my favorite hit skill. It is BA, I'm gonna say so myself. The fourth hit skill, Helm Splitter, has been passed on! I'm actually looking at some of this uh, Tiger Scrolls and Minish Cap. Well, those skills are pretty interesting too. It's just the idea of learning hidden skills. Is, I really like that. I wish they had taken that out of the most recent one, but I, I mean, they could have done something with it. I mean, if they got the controls down that pinpoint and fine, they could have done something with those skills. Okay, well, that's all I want to do, well, side quest wise. Now we're actually going to move on with the plot. And if you haven't got the golden bugs in this area already, well, now's the time to go get them. Well, just pointing that out there. Uh, I love the, the view here. I love the water, I love the trees. Well, these guards from Hyrule are trying to kill me like in Link to the Past. Yeah, that, that was pretty bad. The music's just so peaceful. Alright, yeah, let's keep going. We actually want to go to Tumbo's bar now and beat some of her friends at... Uh, she was talking about. If you came there earlier, uh, before you got turned into a wolf forcefully, like after, like, right before the Lakebed Temple, uh, they would have just laughed at you and said, hey, hey, you're, you're like the hero of legend, you, like, what kind of costumes that? And they just make fun of you. So there's just really no point in visiting them early until Thomas speaks to them, like, hey, yeah, this guy is, well, he's the bravest guy in Hyrule kind of thing. Oh, Postman, what are you doing over here? Oh, so you're not delivering mail this time? Uh, yeah, you should start with the meat. I mean, you need protein when you work out a lot. Or at least some source of protein. Why, hello, Telma. How are you today? And don't ask about Ilya. Uh, she still lost her memory. Good timing. Oh, you were talking about me? Oh, a few people. Why, hello there. One guy with the helmet on looks awfully suspicious. Who are trying to help deal with the troubles of Hyrule. Oh, can they fight alongside with me? Go after Zan, show him who's boss? No, no, they're not actually gonna go do that. Yeah, let's just relax, have some beer, call it a day, you know, take a break from all that hero business. No, I don't feel like it. Hey, how's it going? Hey, buddy, talk to me, man. What do you mean it's been a long time? I've never seen you in my life. Whoa, Russell? What, what are you doing here? Oh. So this is where you've been this whole time. Well, yeah, you're welcome that your, your children are safe. I mean, your son's safe. And the rest of the children are safe. He wanted to help the cause. Well, who wouldn't? I mean, it's not funny if you just sit on your butt drinking beer all day. Kinda reminds me of another video game character. Hey, how's it going? Yes, my name is Link. Why, hello, Shad. It's nice to meet you. I am rather formidable, thank you. <laughs> so you're not the fighting type. Oh, wait. You're really good at book reading, so... 
Maybe you could help us later on in the game when we actually need some, well, an, an intellectual source. Hey, how's it going? And her name's Ashay. She's pretty good looking myself about this. Well, she's pretty good looking to me if I don't say so myself. I mixed up my words. So your father was a knight of Hyrule. Kinda like Link's father, linked, linked to the past. Uh, tell me what? Oh, Snow Peak. So we can go to a snowy area like Snowhead of Majora's Mask? I love snowy areas! As long as I don't have to meet a goat who eats another goat like a Terra Enigma. That was pretty crazy, if I say so myself. Haha, <laughs> extra keep away. Okay, well, if you say so your yourself. No, no, I don't want to talk to you again. I guess I can. So he's looking. Oh, he's looking into Ooka, which I just somehow missed in the Lake Bed Temple. Yeah, oh well, not a big deal. I mean, you don't need to get Ooka. Uh. Ooko in order to get past that place. I mean, it's just completely optional anyways. So a city in the sky! Somewhere up there. Yeah, we don't know exactly where, but wouldn't it be nice to meet them? I suppose so. Will I meet the, my ancestor? Maybe. So where is this Aru guy? Oh, is that Lake Hylia studying the desert? Yeah, just like an Ocarina of Time, Lake Hylia is located to the west. Yeah, it is west of Lake Ilya. Which is, I like how it's like that. The Wii version, since everything's flipped, it doesn't really uh, keep track of the history. Well, you know what I mean. The land and all that stuff. A lot of beer in here. I wonder what that sign says. No, no, we can't read it. That would've been nice though, right? Yeah, no, we, we can't read signs like that. So let's warp to, back to Lake Ilya and Talk to Aru, and there's also a windstone we want to get over there too. So let's just warp on over there and see where he's at. And yes, he is actually in the tower that you saw there earlier. And since it's nighttime, there's also a couple of postals you can get at Lake Hylia as well. Actually, probably three, but I'm only remembering two right now because we already got the one uh, next to the waterfall. Yeah, yeah, we got that one. It's just some postals if you want to get them. And yeah, let's just use our wolf form because it runs a lot faster. I'm not sure I mentioned this yet, but I love how Link climbs ladders in Skyward Sword. You just flip the Wii remote and he just hops up the ladders. It's freaking amazing! Oh yes, stars. How I'd love to take a girl stargazing, but... Well, this one girl I met on a website, she decided that... Oh yeah, there's the Alex stone. I almost missed it. She decided that she wanted to be alone and depressed and love's just not worth it. It's all this is pain. So it's like, okay, well, nothing I can do about it. Now let's howl to the music. Now what's that building in the background? Huh. Song's pretty interesting. First try. I was actually concentrating. I just, it's not from Ocarina of Time. I just I, I can't remember exactly which one it is. Uh, it might be the water one. Uh, I know it's not Bolero of Fire, but well, what can you do about it, right? I like how you don't actually need a musical in instrument to play these songs and whatnot. You just howl them. I think that's a nice, innovative way of howling songs in this game. Ah, such a beautiful song, too. Howl to the ancestor! Man, can you imagine if the Golden Wolf was in Okami and uh, uh, Amaterasu actually had to, well, need the help of the Golden Wolf? That would be pretty cool. There's, all, there's also a game that's a sequel to uh, Okami, which is Okami Den for the DS. I haven't played that one yet, but... My friend did let me borrow o Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and the wolf from Okami is actually in that game! And, well, her and Ryu are the two characters I play the most, honestly. Oh, so you're all the way in the desert! Well, I guess I'm going that direction anyways, so... Oh, don't tell me it's almost daytime game. Eh, it should be nighttime, because there's a couple of bugs I want to get in the desert. And there's a postal I want to kill! Hey! Hey! Come over here! Oh, uh, how did it not hit him? Okay, that's fine. It's like missing with the great spin attack of Link to the Past. And, well, it happens, right? And we get another puzzle! 
So what does Aru have to say about the desert? Find out next time on Let's Play Twilight Princess. Have a good day. And you can also just climb up this ladder to go forward a bit.